Good morning to one and all. I, Arif Pandit, welcome our dear Principal Ma'am, Mrs. Revati Srinivasan, Vice Principals, Mrs. Kanchanmala Chabukswar and Mrs. Gladys Kebrol, Section Heads, Senior Coordinators, Coordinators, Teachers, Grandparents, Parents and my fellow Solonians to the Virtual Ambition 2020. As rightfully said by John Lerer, Every brilliant experiment, like every great work of art, starts with an act of imagination. Science is the elixir of life, and innovation is one of such platforms where students can share their ideas and collectively galvanize those ideas to bring something innovative into implementation. Science embedded with creativity has always played a vital role in enhancing the interest of the students and to provoke them to innovate some new projects. These budding scientists may later be trained as proficient inventors for the growth of the society, nation and all of mankind. So let us unveil the miracles of science through the innovative inventions of the Solonians. Hello everyone, my name is Arthit Bhavik and I am from class 5E. Today I am going to conduct the lava lamp experiment. For this experiment you will need oil, a glass, vinegar, food coloring and baking soda mixed with water. This experiment explains two concepts, density and polarity. Let's start the experiment. First, see, I will pour vinegar into the oil. Now, I will mix the vinegar with the oil. Now, to see the bubbles clearly, I will add some food coloring. Now, let's see the bubbles being made by Adding the baking soda mixed with water. Now let us see what is happening here. Vinegar is 95% water. Vinegar is also, also has higher density than oil because of the water. Hence, it will sink to the bottom and the oil will stay on the top. Vinegar is also a polar substance but oil is not. That is why they don't mix. Now, the baking soda which is a sodium bicarbonate mixes with the acetic acid in vinegar and forms carbon dioxide gas bubbles. These bubbles then mix with water and food coloring and float to the top because they are lighter. But once they reach the top, they pop and the water remaining goes down and up and down and up again. Thank you. Hi friends, my name is Atharva Vinash Marathe and today I am going to tell you about an interesting science experiment that is household COVID hand sanitizer dispenser machine. So let's start. The things we need is cut cardboards, a plastic water bottle with straw and hot glue gun. If you don't have hot glue gun, you can use Fevicol. First we need these four cardboards and hot glue gun and we have to stick them like this. Now we have to keep this aside and we need the sanitizer and the plastic bottle. We have to hold the straw from the bottom and pour the liquid sanitizer. Now we have to close the cap of the bottle. We have to poke the straw in the cardboard through the hole and we have to stick it over here. Now our household COVID hand sanitizer dispenser machine is ready and now I will tell you how does it work. It works by the principle of vacuum and gravity. When you close the cap of the bottle, sanitizer is being pulled down by gravity but vacuum is created in the upper portion of the bottle due to fast flow. That means low air pressure in the upper portion of the bottle than the outside air pressure. 
so outside air actually tries to push into the bottle through the bottom straw hole in doing so it keeps the sanitizer in we loosen the cap vacuum is disturbed and vanishes so liquid sanitizer flows out of the straw hole by gravity of earth i explain you how does it works now i will show you hope you guys like this video and please try this experiment at home stay home stay safe thank you hi myself anna sagar from 50 e welcome to the land of resources which can be renewed the one which is the cheapest source of energy and the one if you visit nasik you will find a lot of it any guesses? Yes, of course I'm talking about windmill. Windmill is the cheapest source of electrical generation. This is my project and I have used cardboard, DC motor which can work the windmill, some color powder for glass, some glue and some colors. This is a windmill. Windmill or wind turbine is a machine that convert kinetic energy of the wind into electrical energy. Once electricity is produced, it is used for street lights, water pumping, million of grains, irrigation. The best part of these windmills is that it is veritable, clean and green source of renewable energy. Which is the need of the hour? I hope you like my project. Good morning. My name is Ishan Suni. I am from 5th. Today I am here to demonstrate you how to make a rainbow. To make a rainbow, we might need 5 things. A reflecting mirror, a spoon for an angle, a, 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 mat, a glass bowl half filled with water, and a source of light. A rainbow is formed by reflection, diffraction and dispersion of light. When white light enters a water droplet, it 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 bends and forms to rarer medium and to denser medium water. This forms a clear rainbow. Thank you. Hello friends, it's Swadhyay from 5th F. To introduce the topic from my experiment, I will do something. Watch carefully. Here I am using my brother's body spray in the living room. While he's nice to relaxing in the bedroom. Now I will spray it and let's see what happens to my brother. Swadhyaya, how dare you take my deal? Give it to me. Sorry. Did you notice that the perfume molecules got mixed with the air and traveled from high concentration to low concentration, that is, from living room to bedroom? This process is called diffusion. Now, I have planned a colorful experiment to show you the same. So, for this experiment, I have taken a white plate, gems and hot water. I am putting the gems at equal distance in the white plate. Now I am putting hot water in the center slowly and carefully. Now leave it for one minute. Now can you see they are, mix they are mixed with each other. This process is called diffusion. 
So what is happening is the colors from the gems are traveling from high concentration that is the gems to low concentration that is in the center of each and every gem. Thank you. Hello teachers, students and all my dear viewers. My name is Hargun Singh Pettel from class 5F Gunga House. Today I am going to demonstrate the experiment Jet Powered Boat. The experiment shows the reaction between vinegar that is acetic acid and baking soda which is sodium bicarbonate which forms a fizzy product called sodium acetate. It will also dis demonstrate the Newton's law of motion that is every action has an equal and opposite reaction. So when the fizz will move back the force will propel the pseudo boat forward making it look like a jet boat. The water depicts the ocean. This is the boat. I have filled some vinegar in this boat and I have added two drops of food coloring in it. Now I will add the baking soda and quickly close the lid. I hope you enjoyed the experiment. Thank you. Hi, my name is Vajra and today I will be showing you an experiment called the screaming balloon. Now for this, this experiment, you will need a balloon and a hex nut or a coin. Now here, I have a fully blown up balloon with a hex nut inside it. Let's see what happens when I gently rotate this balloon. Why is this sound caused? Well, it's because of centrifugal force and friction. The noise is caused because of friction between the, the hexagonal sides of the hex nut and the inner walls of the balloon and centrifugal force causes the hex nut to rotate round and round and the result is a screaming balloon this concept is also used in washing machines so it's very clear that science is pretty much all around us hello friends what happens when you put something over a burning candle obviously it burns but also it turns mm, confused come on let me show you something very interesting today. I am Aryan Sarin Savarkar from Srimati Sulochana Devi Singhanya School and the name of our experiment is Candle Fan Experiment. Do you know friends, heat is a form of energy. By this experiment, I will show you how hot air exerts a force on blades of fan which makes it move. For this experiment, we need card paper, pencil, compass, protractor, clay, super glue, candle, straws, scissors, matchstick or lighter, knitting needle and scale. With the help of compass, we will draw 8 inch of circle on the paper. Draw 8 lines through the center of the circle with 45 degrees angle between each. Cut through the drawn lines. Here I have already made a sample circle. Give little bit bend to each blade. Cut a straw into 4 cm and then paste it on the center of the circle. Here I have already prepared this. With the help of clay, we will make a knitting needle to stand. And put our fan on top of this like this. Now with the help of your parents, light the candles and see the magic. When the candles are lit, hot air rises above them and exerts a force on the blades of a fan. Because of blades are tilted, this force or push causes the fan to move and spin around. Hello friends, 
My name is Rohit Pankaj Jure and I am going to show you an experiment which is based on metals are the good conductor of heat. So, first the materials I have for this experiment is a candle, a thread which is tied up with coin and another thread which is which is not tied up with coin, it is a normal thread. So, first I take the normal thread and I put it on the flame. See, it is burning. But when I put the same thread with candle, on the, when I put the same thread on the candle, which is attached with a coin, see, I am, see, it is not burning. Which means the metals are the good conductor of it. Thank you. Hi, this is Sharani Chepi and today I am going to show you an experiment on food adulteration. So the things we need are salt, spoon, a transparent container and some water. So the procedure is that we have to take the transparent container and in that we need to pour some water. First, we pour some water in this. And now, with the spoon, we are going to take the whole salt and put in the water and after putting the salt we are going to mix it well for some minutes we will mix it till the salt dissolves as you can see that the salt has dissolved very properly and if you observe very neatly that um, my water is transparent. So if you see in this diagram that when we have mixed the salt in the water with the stirrer, the water is clear that is pure. Now if you see at this diagram that when we are mixing the salt in the water with the stirrer, the color of the water is white. So this is impure. So if you see in this glass which I have stirred with the salt, my water is transparent. That means my salt is pure. Thank you. Hello everyone. I am Bhavika Agrawal from 5 Edge. The title of my experiment is Jellyfish in Oil. Astonished? Now, <clears throat> now let us start. First, I will fill this beaker, I will fill half of this beaker with water. Now, I will take half a teaspoon of baking soda and stir. Then, I will take vegetable oil and pour it in the beaker till it is three-fourth full. Now, I will take red cabbage powder and water solution and pour it drop by drop, 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 drop by drop into the beaker. Now the magic part starts. As you can see, as you can see, these bubbles are the jellyfish. Usually, nothing, usually nothing penetrates through oil, but as red cabbage powder is an acid base indicator, it can penetrate through any liquid. Thank you. Hello everyone. Today I am going to do an invisible ink experiment. I am going to write my message on a piece of paper which is invisible and it's going to magi magically appear once I apply a substance to it. The materials used are water, baking soda, turmeric, hand sanitizer, paint brush and a piece of paper. As you can see, I am writing my message using the solution of water and baking soda.
this is this is how the message will look once it has dried now to make it appear i am going to apply the substance of hand sanitizer and turmeric This is the message and it has magically appeared you can read it now This happens because turmeric is a natural indicator and turns red when it is exposed to a base substance like baking soda Thank thank you for watching and the which are okay text in the olden days people did not have compasses so how did they navigate the directions I will show you how to do it. You need a magnet, a plate half filled with water, the needle, and the leaf. So I'll rub the needle on the magnet for maybe one or two minutes. Then, then after I've magnetized the needle, I'll take my leaf and let it float onto the water. And then I'll take my needle and let it float onto the leaf. It might take some time to adjust itself. Now, how do we verify that it is correct? So, let's take out the compass. So, as you can see, the the this is pointing exactly where the north is. And and if you don't have the compass, how will you verify it? So, you need a pencil cap or a pen cap. and two beans now we will take the help of the sun so the morning has come and the sun is here so the shadow will fall here so we put a bead here and then in the evening when the sun settles over here we put a bead here and then as we know that the sun sets in the west this is the east and this is the west and if the west is on your left side your your straight means the direction ahead of you is north and your back side is south and this is east and in night time you might you might find a constellation called the ursa major from from which you can navigate the north star and the north star points towards the north thank you respected teachers and my dear friends my name is neev gopinath from the class 5x i love music what better way to incorporate music with science than jaltaram jaltaram is a traditional indian instrument which literally means sound in water to give you a perspective let me play a small piece so how does this work first you need five bowls each filled with different levels of water today i have taken 20 ml 25 ml 50 ml 100 ml 125 ml i also have two wooden sticks each bowl produces a different sound jaltaram is motion of sound created with the help of water the principle behind the working is that striking the edge of the bowl produces a vibration in it which travels through the water making it vibrate as well this is then transferred to the surrounding air to produce melodic sounds the sound frequency is proportional to the level of water the lesser the level of water in a bowl the lower the sound frequency let me play a piece that i made by myself enjoyed this as much as i enjoyed bringing this to you thank you hello everybody my name is jisa rawat reja and i am from class 5h today i am going to demonstrate and experiment on 
static electricity. So, we need a glass piece, a paper, four weights and some foam balls. So, let's begin. Now, I'm going to take the white paper and spread it on the table. Now, I'm going to take the weights and place it on this paper. Now, I'm going to take the foam balls and spread it. Now, I'm going to take this glass piece and keep it on the weights. Now, you can see that the foam balls have not got attracted to the glass piece. Now, I'm going to take this glass piece and vigorously going to rub it on my dry hair. Now, I'm going to place this again. As you can see, the balls have attracted to the glass piece because the glass is now electrostatically charged. The force exerted by the electrostatically charged body, which in this case is this glass piece is called as electrostatic force or static electricity. It acts from a distance. Therefore, it is called as a non-contact force. Friends, I hope you like my experiment. Do try it at home. Happy learning. Thank you. Respected teachers and my dear friends, I am Asha Vidwal and today I am going to be showing you how to make an ice cream without putting it into the freezer. In the olden times when there was no freezer, they would make the ice cream using this method. Let's get started. For this you are going to need a mixing spoon, a mixing bowl, tea towel, a lot of ice in a bowl, plate, drinking chocolate powder, teaspoon, tablespoon and a normal spoon. Lot of salt, cream, a bowl, and a bowl of milk, and a tea towel. I'm going to be putting two tablespoons of my chocolate powder. Then I'm going to be putting two spoons of milk. And then I'm going to be mixing it properly. Then I'm going to be adding one teaspoon of fresh cream. Now I'm going to be mixing it. Now I'm going to be putting it into my bowl. Now I have put my mixture into my bowl. Now I'm going to be putting it. I'm going to be churning it. Now I'm going to be adding salt. Will melt the ice and the ice coldness will go into my mixture and it will start to freeze. I'm going to be churning for 25 minutes. I'm going to keep churning and mixing my mixture. Now that that part is done, I'm going to cover it with a tea towel. It's be for 4 to 5 hours. I see that my mixture has turned into chocolate ice cream. How wonderful is that? Bye! Hello, today I am going to show you my science experiment walking water to demonstrate capillary action. To do this experiment, we need three glasses, two glasses filled with water and one empty. Tissue paper rolls. Now, we will place these tissue paper rolls like this. Capillary action is the ability of liquids to flow in narrow spaces without any assistance. The liquid rises up against gravity due to capillary action. Now you can see the water is rising up through tissue papers and coming to the empty glass. Now the empty glass is filling up with water. This demonstrates capillary action.
I thank my school teachers and principal ma'am to give me this opportunity to show my science experiment. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Rihan Savan and today I am going to be showing you the experiment of bubble in a bubble. Let us not waste time and begin. So we have these three following ingredients. So I am going to take 1 4 teaspoon sugar and put it in the water. Now I will add around 2 drops of the soap. And stir it with a straw. If the mixture is not yet soapy, then add a little bit more of soap. Now blow a bubble in the middle of the tray. Now slowly pierce the straw inside the bubble and make one more bubble. As you can see we have a bubble inside a bubble. Now I will tell you why that happens. That happens because when we add sugar to the soap solution the water which is there takes longer time to evaporate and the bubble does not burst faster. I hope you like this experiment. Bye. Hello everyone. My name is Pratham Zaitswani. I am from YH. My experiment title is How to make a paper clip float on water. For this, we need is a few paper clips and a bowl of water. We all know when we drop a paper clip in water, it sinks just like this. In the next step, we will try to make the paper clip float on water with another paper clip. It started to float. It started to float because of surface tension. Now we will understand what is surface tension. If we look at this diagram, we can see that water molecules getting attracted and forming a layer on the, on the surface of water and the clip is resting on it. Many, many insects like water striders use this technique to walk on water streams. Bye, have a thank have a nice day. Hello everyone, my name is Nakshati Dhoni and I'm from class 5i. The title of my experiment is Force and the States of Matter. The objective of my experiment is to show how force can change the state of matter. Here I have an ice cube in a plane. Along Side a piece of thread, roughly one foot long. I am going to stretch this thread and push it against the ice cube. When I do this for a, when I do this, I will hold it for a while. This pressure, while the pressure is still on. After a few seconds. We can feel that the thread has cut into the ice cube. I shall now release the pressure on the thread and let it be like for a few seconds. After a few seconds, when I lift the thread up, the ice cube sticks along with the thread. Now, one may ask, how is it possible? This is because of what is called regulation. Regulation is a phenomenon whereby the ice melts under pressure and when 
the pressure is released. The water around the ice freezes. Thus, when I picked up the thread, the ice came along. Regulation is therefore one of the types of forces which is important in understanding the changes in nature. Thank you. Dear teachers and friends, I am Shreya Shilvata from Far R. Today, I am going to start forming alum crystals at home. Alum is very useful for purification of water, cleaning vegetables and various skin treatment. So, let's start. I have taken hot water in this jar. Now, I am adding 2 tablespoons of alum powder and now I am stirring it. I will keep on adding alum powder and stirring it till it stops dissolving. Alum powder has stopped dissolving so I am adding potassium permanganate in it. Now I will leave this solution untouched for 48 hours to form crystals. Let's see what happens after 48 hours. Wow, so many tiny crystals. I will select this as the seed crystal. We'll leave this crystal to grow for a few days. Do not touch the solution, otherwise the crystal will stop growing. Let's have a look at the crystal after 4 days. Wow, the crystal has grown nicely. Once the solution is cooled down, alum molecules approaches the seed crystal forming its shape. Adding pinch of alum powder to the solution daily helps the crystal to grow fast. I have coated these crystals with transparent nail paint as crystals are very delicate. So try forming alum crystals at home. Thank you. Hello my dear friends and beloved teachers. Today I am going to do an experiment on air pressure. For that we will need the following things. A plastic bottle cap with a hole in the middle. A CD or a disc. A balloon. And any super glue or fibrin. So the first step is to stick the bottle cap to the CD or disc. So we will put our super glue of our wet on the bottle cap. Now we will take the inflated balloon. The disc is moving because of the air which has been exerted by the balloon. As the air is decreasing, the disc is being slowed down and now it has stopped. As you saw, the following process is showing how air exerts pressure. Thank you very much. Hello everyone, my name is Sagrika Sagar from 5th. I am going to show you a small experiment called Wild Elephant Toothpaste. Let's start. Hydrogen peroxide. Liquid dish soap. Food coloring. Vinegar. Warm water, some yeast, the form seen in the reaction is is the special 
because it has oxygen the yeast acts as a catalyst which breaks hydrogen peroxide this is done so fast so the bubbles are seen Thank you. Hello dear teachers and friends. I am Anika from 5Y and I am Dia from 5G. Today we are going to show a homopolo motor or a magnetic motor. Materials needed are battery, copper wire and a few magnets. Now I will show you how it works. First, put the battery on top of the magnet. Then take a bent copper wire and balance it on top of the battery. Look, it spins. Let's try another one. Wow, this one is also spinning. Now I now let us understand how this experiment works with a diagram. Magnetic field is pushing upwards the battery and the electric flow of the current is pushing downwards towards the magnet. These opposing forces cause an outward motion on the wire causing it to spin. So the conclusion is the electric current between the battery and the magnet causes a force that makes the wire spin. Thank you. Respected Director Principal Madam, Mrs. Revati Srinivasan, Vice Principal, Heads, Coordinators, Grandparents, Parents and Dear Students. I, Soroshi Kumbhare, on behalf of the Junior Section, would like to thank all of you for giving us this rare opportunity to show our scientific attitude and to help students learn on the online platform. The tremendous amount of effort put in innovation by our school teachers is significant, without whom this remarkable program wouldn't have been possible. This program has made us realize what was once told to us by Robert A. Henlin. Everything is theoretically impossible until it is done. So our young scientists have proven this true by performing experiments and demonstrating various new concepts. It is through curiosity and looking at opportunity that we have always mapped our path. Let these paths guide us to a new world of exploration. Once again, a big thank you to everyone. Dear Principal Ma'am, we are looking forward to more such new and exciting ventures in the near future. Thank you and stay safe everyone. I want to conclude with a short poem. God has made this world full of mysteries. Science explains this through physics, biology and chemistry. Thank you.